Hey everybody, how's it going? We're continuing this video series and I'm gonna be talking about what my favorite fragrance from the house of Armani is. Now, if you wanna pause the video and take a guess, go for it right now. But I will say the house of Armani has so many bangers. You've got, you know, Aqua de Jo, Aqua de Joya. You've got the Stronger With You line. But my all-time favorite fragrance from that house is C Intense. Now this is the older version of C Intense because they released the new one back in 2021 or 2020, I believe, and I haven't smelled it yet, but this one here has me in a chokehold. And if you've been subscribed to me from the beginning, or if you followed me even before that on TikTok, then you know I could not shut up about this fragrance. I still think till this day, that this is the sexiest designer fragrance I have ever smelled. And I'm mainly talking more on the feminine side, all right? Now, what does this smell like? It smells like black currant, so it has this sort of dark berry, sort of mysterious, alluring sort of smell to it. And it's also very juicy and just exotic. And then it dries down with this gorgeous vanilla. So just think of dark berries and vanilla. And to me, this fragrance reminds me of Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. You know, it's just like this bad bitch type of fragrance. Takes no shit from anybody, you know, but it still has just this underlying sex appeal to the fragrance. Now, this is a beast. It easily performs over 10 hours, and every single time I smell it, I cannot get enough of it. I remember I wore this in the summertime, and I just felt untouchable. I was like, damn. This scent goes hard. Like I smelled some fragrances on other people that summer day and nobody just like, like it just wasn't scratching any sort of itch. You know, I was just in love with the way I smelled. And typically if you've watched my videos, then you know that I, I like to wear more unisex fragrances, even slightly leaning masculine, but this is probably my favorite feminine fragrance that I like to rock. Now, I ended up giving this one to my sister because she wears it a lot more than I do, but this scent is so perfect for all seasons, in my opinion. I will say maybe in the summertime, that vanilla might be a bit much, but the cool thing about this fragrance, at least with my skin chemistry, is that when I wore this in the warmer months, that blackberry was really shining through. Like the vanilla really kind of held back, but when it came to the cooler months, it was a perfect blend of the both of them. So it was kind of like a pretty smart fragrance in that regard because it never became too cloying when I wore it in like a 85, 90 degree day. Now, would I do that again? No, because I have other fragrances that I feel are best suited for that type of weather and I don't really want to chance that but this is really a fragrance that you can rock all year round if you want to. If you're looking for that really sexy signature scent that is just gonna smell amazing in the cooler months and in the warmer months, then I would look into this one. But the downside of it, of course, is that it is a discontinued fragrance. So I'll put a discount site link in the description box for global shipping. And I remember finding like that, like that has been the only place that I have found these bottles of C Intense. They're probably like the 30 ml, so they're smaller, but it's hard to find this version of the fragrance anymore because I believe the newer C Intense is in this like pinkish peach bottle or maybe like an orangey type of like a caramel type of bottle. So I will be doing a review on that one when I smell it, but whenever I've been to like Sephora and Ulta, and even like in Nordstrom, they did not have that version of the fragrance. Or if they did, there was literally none of it left in the sample bottle, which really did suck. So if you're not familiar with the example I used of Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, the Angelina Jolie one is the one that I'm thinking about. Like if you're in the younger sort of generation, then I would say maybe like, like Jade from Victorious. You know what I mean? She has that sort of like attitude and there's just like, she has like a dominant type of personality, like the type of woman that people fall to their knees for. That is C Intense in a bottle. And I really, really, really cannot state how much I love this fragrance. And this one has stood the test of time for me for how long I've been into fragrances. You know, I think that there's a lot that come and go. There's a lot that, 
you know, I love for a short period of time, but you know, that flame kind of fizzles out, but with C Intense, ever since first sniff, I've been hooked. Like, I think that really goes to show that, especially with this being a designer fragrance and with a lot of the niche fragrances I've tried, I still think that this is sexier than like 98% of niche fragrances that I have tested, that I have worn. So this is like an all time favorite hall of fame type of scent. And I think that that's kind of going to be the theme of these videos that I'm making right now, my favorite fragrances from each house. Like these are my hall of fame type of fragrances. So maybe I should incorporate that in the title. I'm not sure. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. That, that have like a nice ring to it. But oh God. Yeah, you know what? You can dress this down. You can dress it up. But I think that this is just, it just, it really highlights when you're kind of dressed in all black. You know what I mean? It's mm, like there's ah, this, this, I'm just like kind of visualizing it right now. But of course, even if you have like a nice dress on, like a beautiful dress, um, this is going to smell great on you. Even if you're just, I don't know, in shorts and it's summertime, like this is going to smell amazing on you. But that whole like all black sort of look would just absolutely smash with this fragrance, with Sea Intense. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. And like I'm saying, if you're somebody that's always kind of worried about performance, you do not have to worry with this fragrance. If you're somebody that is sensitive to fragrances, then stick to one spray of the scent. My sister is a scent sensitive type of person where sometimes she'll get migraines if it's a bit too strong for her. Um, so this is a fragrance that she would just apply one spray on her back and literally all day i smell it on her so beautiful fragrance thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section below if you've tried this version of the fragrance and what house you want me to talk about next whether it's designer or niche maybe we'll do designers first and then work our way into niche we'll see but Again, a discount site link for global shipping is going to be in the description in case you want to look up this fragrance. Hopefully it's still available. Last time I saw it, like it sells out so fast, so, so quick. But anyways, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.